Hey everyone, welcome. I've really missed talking to you. Let me tell you a story about a proud warrior who liked using a sword and he wanted to defend his buddies and they all ran away from him. All the enemies just ran around him and then guys with bows would shoot at him and he'd walk up to him and they'd be like, yeah, whatever, sucker, and they'd just back up. And then the fighter cried and that fighter's name was me. Um, so in the Infinity Engine, a lot of times melee characters kind of get boned, you could say. There's not, a, there's not a mechanic in the Infinity Engine games that really allows fighters or, or melee characters in general to be a potent threat to enemies. So one thing that we wanted to do is address that for our game. We wanted to make sure that if you are playing a melee-oriented character or if you're fighting against melee-oriented enemies, those characters are a potent threat. So to accomplish that, we came up with a system called the engagement system or the melee engagement system. If you've played 3rd edition or 4th edition or 3.5 or Pathfinder, it should be pretty familiar to you. The basic idea is when you get near a melee opponent or when, when people come towards each other and there's a melee threat there, that character will get locked down. They're not stopped from moving, period, but they are momentarily stopped. And if they move away, they can get smacked super hard and then, and, and they'll usually stop when they get hit and then they'll cry and fall down. And then the melee characters continue to pursue them. So the whole idea is basically to say, when these melee characters are present, they're a threat on the battlefield. And if you try to kite them, or if you try to avoid them, it's not that easy. It's not to say that it can't be done, but they're, they become a potent threat. I've actually done a little setup so that I can explain this to you in greater detail. So we're gonna go there right now to a bird's eye view Welcome to the dungeon. All right, everyone. This is a pro extreme, look at this amazing screenshot of Project Eternity. It's so lifelike, my hand is in this. Okay, so this is actually a dungeon screenshot. These are Bobby Knoll's sweet uh, Dwarven Forge things to give you some examples of where melee engagement might be useful. So in this example, you might see, you have our buddy, the fighter here, and a little, the sad mage. It's probably not that sad, but he could be sad if these guys go and smash him in the face. So in the Infinity Engine, you might have, you might have to actually put this guy right in the doorway to physically block a path through. Uh, that's pretty extreme and it's pretty limiting because once you start getting into more open areas, that's not really, it's not really that potent of a threat and ultimately these dudes can just, you know, hop, skip and jump around him. So melee engagement would allow this character to more effectively threaten the entire area around here. So in this example, if this fighter, especially if he's using something like his defensive mode that, that gives him a, a greater ability to sort of control engagement, if he's standing here, if this dude tries to walk by him, as soon as he starts to move uh, up into this area, the character is going to be engaged and they're going to stop moving. So once they stop moving, they can start again, but if he tries to say, yeah, whatever, whatever, buddy, and he keeps moving by, imagine that I rolled a crit there. Bam, he's dead. He's down. He's crying on the ground. Yes, Adam showed you exactly what happened. 20, gone. Now, Captain Rogues comes through here. Through here. Same thing can happen. Uh, or could use his escape ability to hop on by. Doesn't prevent the fighter from pursuing him. But the basic system allows these characters to pose a more potent threat, protect an area, instead of just blocking it, they actually have a threat, more like attack of opportunities would allow. So that's the basic idea behind melee engagement, an example of how a character would sort of use a space to not necessarily block, but ultimately prevent characters from easily moving through an area without paying some sort of a cost to do so. So there you have it. That's melee engagement. It's amazing. Um, it's pretty straightforward. It's, we don't want it to be super complex, especially in its initial stages. It's a very straightforward system, but we think it's something that can help make melee characters a more potent threat than they were in the Infinity Engine game, games, and it can also avoid some of the 
uh, you know, the kind of stumbling blocks where you just kind of ran around them or, uh, or you could kite them because kiting could be a pretty big issue. Doesn't necessarily eliminate all kiting, whether offensively or defensively in certain cases, but it does mitigate it and we think that's the important thing. It adds a, a new tactical element to combat that should be pretty fun to play with. That's all for this week. Uh, please let us know what you think about melee engagement um, and similar sorts of systems that we, we uh, have, have been discussing about it. Uh, let us know on our forums. As always, thanks for watching and thanks for your feedback.